And we welcome you to another season of high school football here on WOSN. Excited to be with you once again as we kick off the 2024 high school football season in Ottawa. It's going to be the first ever meeting as the Titans welcome in the Eagles of Liberty Benton. With Miles Holiday, I'm Randy Roberts. Partner, we're back again. We're ready for football. Good day here. Beautiful day to kick off the high school football season. Hey, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Right? we got a great matchup. It's a beautiful facility. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I get to do it with Mr. Razzle Dazzle himself, Randy Roberts. Excited to be with you. I think, what, our fifth year now? They've partnered us together. So looking forward to another fun, exciting year of uh, football for you here. And uh, let's talk about the two teams we're going to see in this opener here, Ottawa Glandorf and Liberty Benton. Yeah, Otto Glandorf, one of those rough seasons that they had last year, Randy. Look, they're one and nine, no way around it. That one and nine's not up to standard here at Ottawa Glandorf, but it wasn't a one and nine where they got ran over all the time. They lost five games by one score or less. So this is a team that really wants to get back to what they do, and that's running the football. Only averaged three and a half yards per carry a year ago. That's got to be better. So there's a little bit of the history, not much of one. It's going to be the first time these two teams have met, which is kind of hard to believe. Going through the numbers, so try to dig a little deep to bring you some nuggets for this one. First ever meeting between the Eagles and the Titans. Liberty Benton is one and two against current WBL teams, while Ottawa Glandorf is four and one against current members of the Blanchard Valley. And of course, Liberty Benton leaving the BVC at the end of uh, next season. Still don't uh, know what their uh, future holds, but they do know that they've got another year defending champions of the Blanchard Valley Conference. Well, let's hope that this matchup stays. I think this is a great matchup for too. both schools. It's a, a fun matchup for week one. Both teams are going to be uh, tested extremely well. Let's hope they stay with it. Let's take a look at the uh, starting lineups for this one tonight. Let's start with the visiting Eagles of the Liberty Benton under head coach Scott Garlock, who's uh, in his ninth year now, has been to the playoffs seven of his previous eight years. Did remember he took that break in between his uh, two, you know, I guess since uh, the election cycles in full <laughs> swing, we'll call it two terms. <laughs> two terms in the middle of his uh, <laughs> Nine and two a year ago fell to a uh, Highland in the opening round of the playoffs. And Miles, you take a look at this Liberty Benton team and you say, well, they, they can't be as good as they were last year. They lost the reigning BBC Offensive Player of the Year, right. Defensive Player of the Year, Special Teams Player of the Year, Lineman of the Year. Man, that's a lot to try to make up for this year, but they got some pieces in place. They sure do have some nice pieces. Uh, you know, Mason Mod, Player of the Year, gone at, at quarterback, but Trevin Lee, I really think he's going to have a solid season. He did play quite a bit last year, Randy. was 40 of 62 for 452, so it's not like he's brand new to it. And he's got some great Great weapons, including Seth Elkert, the young man that you like, is because he's going mm -hmm. to the University of Toledo to play wide receiver. He's as good as anybody. But keep an eye on that offensive line, especially number 76, Isaac Schwarm. He is filling in for Connor Arnold, who graduated last year, one of the best offensive linemen they've had in a long time. So if they get a solid five out of those guys, they're going to be just fine. Now, Schwarm and Will Granger, the uh, lineman who saw a lot of playing time a year ago, that are back at this defense. Also missing uh, Brady Brookmeyer, the oh, defensive boy. player of the year. Yeah, they've got some pieces in place, a couple of returning linemen, a couple of linebackers. So you have some skill at every position, every every line of the defense. So there are some pieces there in place. Yeah, keep an eye on Austin Kohler right there, the linebacker. Get this, 17 tackles for loss last year. Tell me he's not a big play Where guy. And then C.J. Barbera, eight, tackle, eight, eight tackles for loss, but led the team with eight sacks. Well, before we get to the uh, lineup for Ottawa Glendale, we're going to step aside here as I believe they are going to be ready to perform our uh, national anthem. All right, Miles, we talked a little bit about Liberty Benton. Let's turn our attention now to the uh, home team tonight, the Titans of Ottawa Glendorf, like you said, coming in off a year one and nine a year ago. That lone win came in week nine when they defeated Shawnee. 16-15 for everyone interested in the, the scoreboard watch, the, the win alert, the, so forth. Ken Schreiner, their head coach, just two away from picking up his 200th win. Yeah, and, and what would be a great way to open it, get one more closer, right? Open the season, get them to 200 or closer to 200 with win number 199. But if they're going to do a partner, it's going to have to be those guys up front that do it. Take a look at the front five of Volker, Graymeyer, Brown, Haley, and Coffin. Some good size there, Randy. Average about 240 pounds. They got to get back to running the football. They are too balanced a year ago, throwing and running. Want to be a little more run heavy. 
run the football, you're going to stop that powerful offense of Liberty Benton from scoring a lot of points. And do bring back their quarterback, Tate Pullman, who threw for uh, nearly 1,500 yards a year ago defensively. They do have uh, eight starters back, but one of the guys they're going to lose was the top tackler in the Western Buckeye League a year ago, Alex Schrader, in his 127 tackles. Now they do bring back Dane Dueling at his 55 tackles, four tackles for loss, and that led the team with sacks. And Vinny Brinkman, 60 tackles, led the team with nine tackles for loss on the season. So it should be a really fun matchup uh, if you take a look at the two teams match pretty evenly. So just about ready to go for our opener here from Titan Stadium in Ottawa. OG won the opening toss, elected to defer their choice to the second half. And partner, before we get any further in this, let's uh, give you the uh, three keys to the game for each team. Let's start with the Eagles of Liberty Button. Yeah, number one, leave it to me, right? Why not? Trevin Lieb, he's going to take over as the starting quarterback. Wait till you get a look at him. He's going to be a really good one. He's going to have a good game. Number two, tackle clean. You're going to get a run game out of Otto Glendorf. Stop them with the first tackle. Don't let them drag you. And then number three, easy E. Seth Elker, he is an easy E when you get the ball to him because your offense is easy. He scores touchdowns 12 a year ago. Kickoffs in the air. We'll get to the OG keys here following this opening kickoff return. She's going to come out across the 20 yard line to about the 22 by Connor Barbara. And that is where the Eagles will take over. We see one limping already. Now, how about those keys to the game now for Ottawa Glendale? Well, only 3.5 yards per carry a year ago. No 3.5 in 2024. Run the football effectively. Number two, fine receivers. You and I were at that scrimmage against St. Henry last week. Mm -hmm. And boy, there was receivers running free everywhere. Make sure you find them. And then more than four, when you're rushing the quarterback, bring a fifth guy. The sky's where he's coming from. Make it tough for Liberty Bell. Eagles are going to open up in the shotgun. A fumble on the first play of the game. Pile on top. OG says they have it. Officials are going to separate everyone, and it's going to stay with the Eagles. We take a look at the Finley Truck and RV replay. Yeah, he ran off the thigh pad of Lieb, and that's just a battle underneath. Take a look at number 13, Dane Dooling, trying to pry it away. Now, here's the rule, though, Randy. If it is joint possession, officials are going to go in there and say it stays with the offense, and that's what it looked like. Now, if I'm the defensive coordinator out of Glendor, if I'm going to Dane Dooling, don't you let that quarterback hold on to that football. Pull that thing away. Lost the three of the opening play of the game. And again, our replays tonight are brought to you by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Just underway in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Second and 13 coming up here for the Eagles. Lieb looking to throw, rolls out, fires underneath, pass is going to be caught and called in by Lee Meyer. Lee Meyer's going to get out across the 30 near the 35 where he will pick up the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, pretty good job by Lee. Gets a good block by his left tackle, allows him to get to the edge. Lee actually gets knocked down initially, gets back up, gets the football. Nice job on the outside by Lemur. Gets knocked down, gets back up, makes the catch. Gets yeah, the first down, but now he's down on the took, ground. Took kind of a shot to the ribs, I think, as uh, he's going to need a, a little bit of assistance. So that'll give us the opportunity to tell you that our first downs tonight are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Wapak Deficit at St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. All right, now I want you to see this block. He gets on the outside edge. This is going to allow Lee to get outside, get a little bit of a window where he can make that completion. Oh, by the way, we got some new toys to play with this year, in case uh, you're, you've been a loyal follower for... Uh, what Miles and I and Ken have done this year. So uh, we call that the Holovision. We can never give Miles Holiday enough toys. I believe that was Will Golker that got the great block. First down run, a little pitch, and now this is going to be a foot race. And the All Ohioan is going to march his way into the right State University late in the end zone for the quick touchdown. Well, easy E, easy does it on the offensive end. This is going to be nothing more than a jet sweep. Gets a great block on the outside to get to the tunnel. And all he's got to do after he gets outside there, Randy, is style and profile his way into the end zone. Easy E. Big time points for Liberty Benton. 
Seth Elkert goes 66 yards and he will end the quick three play scoring drive with the Wright State University Lake Campus touchdown. Whether you're interested in an associate or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. Well, I'll tell you what, Randy, let's take a look at this one again. Connor Barbera, tremendous job on the outside. I'm going to circle him because what's he do? He sets the edge, and you're going to see Elker get to the tunnel and just style and profile his way onto the end zone. Big time jet sweep by Liberty Benton. So 7 nothing Liberty Benton in front on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. If That's you're a receiver a coach and you want your guys to block, take a look at Connor Barbera on the outside, took his corner, drove him to the sideline. That is one of those plays you watch tomorrow in film and you run it back time and time again and you highlight Connor Barbera because that's a big time effort. That is a minute and a half to get into the scoring column for Liberty Benton. So the Eagles with the early seven to nothing lead. That's a lot of... Remember that drive started with a, oops. <laughs> it did, that was nearly... Almost a turnover. Nearly OG football in the first play of the game. How quickly the tides have turned. So now we'll see Garrett Nealis send this one into the afternoon and deep into the end zone. Titans will take the touchback. Good to see, and my football has been limited so far this preseason with the professionals, but uh, good to see the traditional kickoff and not the kickoff zone. Oh, it's going to be weird, isn't it? How that's going to work in the NFL. Let's hope it doesn't filter down to high school because it always does, right? It starts at the NFL, works its way down to college, and then here, I kind of like the old style kickoff. Titans have this one here, 10.35 to go opening quarter in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard, and they will start from their own 20-yard line. Goldman with the give on first down, and this is going to turn into a decent run. A great tackle from behind by C.J. Barbera. There is a flag down, though. Take a look at the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. See the fake there. So the give goes to Grant Evers. I think it's going to be against OG. Ran a little power concept, bring a lineman around. Where the flag was thrown, yeah, it's going to be a hold against OG. So they will replay first down, but uh, it looks like it was downfield a bit, so it's 10 yards from the spot, so it's still nets a gain of, it looks like about three or four, so it's going to be... It's your regular average first and seven. That's right. So the penalty moves this up to the 23 with a replay. And now, try to work that right side once again. Oh, I like it. He popped it, right, even though he had the hold. So let's come back to it on the next play. Interesting, it's one of those concepts where Ottawa Glendorf elects not to block the corner on that side. So you're running back, he has to beat the corner once he gets free. A lot of guys say, well, look, corners shouldn't make those tackles over and over, right? Your running back should win that battle. Gain of about six brings up a third and one. I'm sorry, second and one. As the Titans go straight ahead, they want to get that least famous freshman chicken first down. A really good job inside by Schwarm. Kind of swarmed his way underneath the offensive line and made the tackle, but it is going to result in a first down by Ottawa Glandorf. And Randy, I like this by Ottawa Glandorf right away. Three plays, three runs. A sun playing uh, tricks on our uh, scoreboard down to a 9.20 and counting. Left to go in the opening quarter. That oh, shadow I like it. Let's go 19 minutes. I like it. More football for us. 19 minutes, 20. Oh, there it is. 9, 10. We lost 10 minutes. Yeah, the shadow kind of hanging over the uh, empty digit on the scoreboard. 
like we like to say, technology is great when it works, folks. It's that shotgun look once again. Kuhlman this time will throw, fires it underneath. Pass is going to be caught. Dane Dooling with it. Dooling just nowhere to go as he was quickly met for a minimal gain. Yeah, watch number 20, Zach Elkert. There he is, number 20. Top of your screen, work his way over. He's going to get involved. That's a middle linebacker running all the way out to the numbers and delivering a nasty attitude type of hit. He's a good one, Randy. A fantastic player a year ago. He is one of those guys that they're going to have to be really good. 67 tackles for them last year. He's picking up where he left off. Great look there with our Finley Truck and RV replay. Second and nine from the 31. Titans with that shotgun look once again. And this time keeping it going straight ahead will be Coleman with that fake. He'll get a couple more yards. Let's see, they're going to mark him. It's like in between the 33 and 34 yard line. We'll give him about three on the play. No, we'll give him two. Nose of the football right around the 33. Uh, keep an eye on number 81, C.J. Barbera for Liberty Benner, Benton. He'll be the left defensive end. Loves to get it's after the cool. passer. Interesting to running quarterback draw without throwing a ball yet. So they just threw on the previous play. Wow, that was a kind of a, a, a sprint out, though. Third down coming up here. Coleman now looks to throw. Sits that middle screen. Dueling's going to have this one. He's going to be right at that line. That one had to be close, Miles. You saw the lineman going to take off already downfield. They're going to go ahead and give him the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, really good point by you. One of those really close officials let it go. Were the, were the lineman up a, across the line of scrimmage before the ball was thrown? The uh, referee's going to say, nope, and it's one of those. It's a close spot. We're going to give the advantage to the offense first down, OG. Good to see the Titans driving the football to some of the offensive troubles they had a year ago. Already down 7 to nothing here as we near the halfway mark of quarter number one. Here's the handoff again going to Evers. Evers finds a spot on that left side, continues to drive forward, and he'll have close to four yards. It follows Austin Haley, number 65, his right guard through the hole. And if they're getting five or four on first down, that is a win for OG. Running the football, eating clock, keeping Liberty Benton's high-powered offense on that sideline. Has someone mentioned something about 3.5 yards? You know Ken Schreiner all <laughs> offseason was shaking his head. That's all we ran the football for last year? Second and six coming up here for the Titans. Coleman, see a man going in motion now. Stoppage, it looks like Otto Glandorf is going to take the first Dales Concrete timeout of the year. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Dales Concrete and decorative stamping in Lipsick. See them for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. All right, let's go right back to uh, the setup right here. You're gonna be able to run the football as long as you have four guys in the secondary. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that means you're gonna try and stop the run inside with seven guys. Otto Glendorf's gonna have you outnumbered. They're electing Liberty Benton is to have two guys back deep in the secondary. So you're gonna be outnumbered. That does allow you to cover the pass a little bit better. But if you can stop to run with seven guys in the box, Randy, mm -hmm. you're a really good defense. Let's see what happens following the uh, Dales Concrete timeout here. Already kind of feels like a big drive for the Titans to answer that quick score by Liberty Benton. The uncovered inside slot over here for OG. Coleman throws middle of the field, had a man open. Hits him in stride, and Ethan Metzger, and Metzger is going to have the least famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, Metzger's just going to run right up the seam. Inside slot runs a bubble that's going to hold the flat defender, and he's going to hit that seam between Eckert and the flat defender. A nice little concept there by OG. 16 yards there, sets up a first down as Liberty Benton now back inside their side of the field to 40 as OG continues to move. We saw some trouble with OG. We were here for that scrimmage against St. Henry with some of those timing routes, but able to uh, uh, knock one there as Evers this time will try the left side. He'll pick up again, looks like about four yards. Oh, you wonder how long will Scott Arnold, the defensive coordinator for Liberty Benton, allow OG to get four and five on first down without bringing some type of pressure. Got to start winning first down if you're Liberty Benton. Mark that back of the 37, so we'll say gain of three, so second and seven. Coming up here for the Titans on their opening drive of the 2024 high school football season. Here comes a corner fire from the outside, short side. 
And now we've got whistles and flags, and we have a false start, so Ottawa Glandorf will be false backed start. up the second time on this drive. Well, we wondered when Scott Arnold was going to start dialing up that eighth guy coming in. At this time, it was going to be a corner. And one thing you never see, Randy, and I think it will be the next development of secondary blitzes, is a corner coming down, looking like he's blitzing, mm -hmm. and then at the last second, falling out, right? You ever see a corner, he's coming on a blitz? He always blitzes, right? So I think that'll be the next thing that you'll see defensive coordinators come up with. Second and seven now turns into second and 12 at the Liberty Benton 42. It's going to be another keeper for Coleman trying to get to the outside, but he is going to be dragged down from behind. I believe was that Evan Rosengarten, number 81, who gets to him? Uh, C.J. Barbera, number 81, comes free nope, on the, the outside. Team. Yeah, watch. He's going to play off the block on the outside. That was dueling trying to, I'm sorry, Vinny Brickman trying to get the block on him. But how about the speed of C.J. Barbera? He Hannah Barbera's him to the ground. It's a loss of two there. Boy, you could put a football team together with some of those characters. Oh, the Laugh Olympics? You kidding me? Just the Hanna Barbera catalog. <laughs> Winners, all of them. McGill Gorilla. How do you how do you stop him? Well, delayed handoff here to Evers. He's going to run right into that line, and he was met. I believe that was Will Granger, number seventy-eight, that nearly bear hugged him, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. And it looks like the Titans are going to bring. Their punt unit on here. Yeah, I think that's the right decision. Punt the football. You know, fourth down and along. You don't have a lot early in the season. Yeah, it'd be about run. 12. Yeah, fourth and 12. So, uh, Zach Elkert involved on that tackle again for Liberty Benton. Promising start to that opening drive for the Titans. But it looks like they'll send this away. Side winding punt. This one will be fielded right at the 10 yard line as Elkert will have it and gets about six, seven yards before he's knocked out of bounds. Well, Ken Schreiner, a little Ooh. more courageous than I am. I would not punt the football. Send that thing yeah. into the student section, yeah, right? I'd, I'd hell mummy that thing, just kick it out of bounds nonstop. Elkert is not touching it if I'm coaching against him on a punt. The Liberty Bet will have the, set, the uh, football for the second time in this game. First time they had it, they had it for all of three plays before they deposited into the end zone for the Wright State University Lake Campus touchdown. We'll see what goes on here. Starting this drive from their own 17, 323 left to go open a quarter on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Handoff on first down coming to the near side. Zach Elkert, we got ourselves a penalty flag. Yeah, you're going to get it on the outside. This was originally, I think, supposed to go off tackle and your running back is going to bounce it outside, and that makes your tackle's life a little more difficult because the defense yeah, sees him yeah, going yeah. there, and the next thing you know, you get some creative blocking going on, right? There is no holds on the offensive line, folks. This is creative blocking. Ooh. So holding is the call. It's going to bring this back. The one thing we uh, didn't really get into a lot, and we haven't really paid a lot of attention, but the uh, officiating crew tonight, by the way, Six-man crew, something we might see a little bit more of in the high school game this year. Yeah, the OHSAA said they wanted to go to more six-man crews. I guess they get a, more eyes on the field. So Liberty Benton's going to be backed up to the nine. Elkert this time will try the right side, and he might have made it back to the line of scrimmage. We tried to run Ryan Day's favorite play, stretch zone to the outside, out of the pistol. It'll make the life real difficult, but it's a really good job by Steschulte, by Ottawa Glandorf outside, meets the block of Barbera. And Barbera tries to get him sealed. And if you can't get him sealed, Randy, you got to run him to the sideline and hope you're back. Makes that cut inside. Liberty Benton going the wrong way on the first two plays of this drive. Yeah, it was a loss of a couple. Let's see where they spot that at. Showing second and 21. And Lieb kind of directing traffic out there, trying to get his receivers set. Fires to single man to that far side. Pass is going to be caught near the 20 yard line where Connor Barbaro bring that in. 
Uh, this is one of those things if you're the secondary coach for Ottawa Glendorf, you're, you're going to be a little bit upset with your guys because you got to get your hands on that receiver. You're playing cover two, right? And you have to jam that receiver at the line of scrimmage. Don't let him get a free release. And a good job by Barbera to get inside of it, and that's really free yardage for Liberty Benton. It's third and eight coming up here from the 19 now with Lieben, the shotgun by himself. Five DB look for OG. Lieb looking to throw, surveys, fires middle of the field. This one's going to be caught again. Enough for the Lee's famous rescue chicken first down. Lee Meyer able to bring that in. Well, you get an idea that Lee Meyer is going to be his guy on third down. Second big conversion in this football game on third down to Lee Meyer. All he does is run a little bit of a dig beyond the sticks, and it's a first down. You know how we know it? He tells us. That's right. Picked up 14 there, and again, our uh, replays tonight. Brought to you by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Fresh set of downs now for the Eagles, already leading this one 7-0. Now with that pistol look, Lieb in a shotgun, has a back behind him. Is Elkert who's going to get the call, trying to drive the pile forward. He does for about a yard or so. Ottawa Glandorf doing a really good job against the run game of Liberty Benton early. It's just been third downs that have killed them. You know, the big third down conversion a moment ago by Lemar after they had Liberty Benton really dug into their own end. A lot of them off the hook on that third down conversion. Pick up a couple there, so it's going to bring up second and eight now. One of your favorite things. Trevin Lee going over to the sideline to get the call from the coach and running all the way back to the huddle. I just want to. I just want to know the number of steps. That's all I want. Two backs now with Lee. And the handoff there will go just about nowhere. And Trevor Rump inside linebacker number twenty. He shows up in an angry mood again, snuffing out that Liberty Benton run game. Another third down and about seven. Huge play for OG defensively. Elgert might have moved from one side of the hash to the other. As uh, Miles said, it's going to bring up a third and long. First down two. Go ahead, go. Let's see where they bring that fifth guy from. They've been playing coverage most of the game, and it has not worked for them. Bring that fifth guy. Try to get some pressure in the quarterback, Lieb. Lieb kind of moving everyone around once again. Big third down coming up here. Now he'll give the uh, handoff, and that'll be enough for Seth Elkert. Able to get to the outside. He'll get the least famous rescue chicken first down. Well, I'm not sure what the play call is all the time with Liberty Benton, but if it's not every third time getting the ball into number 10's hands, there might be some reevaluation that we need to do there, right? Seth Elkert needs to touch the football a great deal for Liberty Benton. Big gain of 13 there on the third down conversion. Moves it out to the 46 yard line. As it looks like the Eagles will have to run at least one more play here in this opening quarter. Randy, he just glides, doesn't he? Oh, he does. Yeah, he's just one of those guys as you're watching the game that sticks out amongst everybody else on the football field. Lieb in the shotgun once again. We'll give it right back to Elkert who will get near the midfield stripe. All right, now one of the favorite things for offensive linemen is when you get this. Watch on this left-hand side, number 76. He's going to take his guy, and he's going to drive him all the way into the pile. And offensive linemen absolutely love to finish a block. We call that a pancake. Drive, 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 and then put your guy down. And, you know, you let him know a little bit afterwards, right? right. Like, hey, how, how's that ground taste? That is offensive line play at its finest. Well, opening quarter in the books. Been a good one so far. 7-0 Liberty Benton. We'll take a break here on WOSN. 7-0 Liberty Benton with lead over uh, Ottawa Glandorf after uh, one quarter of action here. So a couple, uh, couple things uh, going down on the field now as the officiating uh, crew uh, honoring one of their uh, own members who... Uh, just because of uh, cancer, unable to work this year. By the way, you saw the uh, shot earlier, the student section in the orange. Take a uh, minute to mention the uh, loss of the cold water community that happened earlier. Yeah, uh, everybody did a moment of silence. Uh, sad moment. Uh, cold water losing one of their own. Everybody's hearts are going out to the cold water family. 
And uh, wow, what a great uh, thing wearing orange in support. Yeah, it's a thing that's going on uh, football fields uh, all around Northwest Ohio here on this uh, opening day as uh, Liberty Benton continues to go here on the second down. Handoff goes for a gain of maybe a yard. And Jaden Guerra, number 61, big fella, six foot, 225, built like an inside tackle. Stayed good leverage, made the tackle for Otto Glendorf. Another big third down coming up here for Liberty Benton. Third and six coming up here. A huge moment for this OG defense. Got to get off the field again. Third, third down has been a conversion down for Liberty Benton. Leib's got sidecars at each side. Third down is going to fire it short. Pass is going to be complete for the first down as he will find Braden Lieber, who's going to pick up the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Yeah, take a look at this cushion right here. Way too much. Corner's going to fall off. All Lemur's going to do is stop right there and catch an easy pass for the first down. As a DB, Randy, you've got to know where that third down marker is at. Just too much cushion. Easy pitch and catch for Liberty Benton. Again, our first downs tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Devils, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. First and 10 for Liberty Benton at the OG 40. Leave the fake, the rollout hits the man open. It's going to be Barbara. CJ Barbara will get near another. Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. One of the things that 4 3 type of front has trouble with uh, throws to the flat. Simple concept Liberty Benton ran the corner off on a vertical route. There's nobody out there in the flat. Your back reaches out. Easy throw. I like the design for you. Got a quarterback, you know, making his first start, kind of make things life easy for him. But Lee, he's been fantastic so far in this football game. Second and one coming up here, 11th play of the drive for the Eagles, started with 323 left to go in our opening frame. So Liberty Benton putting this together. Different look, Leave trying to throw to the sideline, puts that one right on the money. Nice spin move to get inside the five yard line by Connor Barbara. A great throw by Lee. Watch the fake inside. That's going to hold the safety to that side. Allow that little window to open up. See the small little window between the safety and the corner. And how about the little spin of Rooney by Connor Barbera to almost get the touchdown. 28 yards puts Liberty Benton inside the thermal guard window and door red zone. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com. Call 419-229-4273 for your free estimate. Keep an eye on Elkert outside right there. They're going to run straight ahead this time. Zach Elkert. And no signal yet. Looks like he's going to be just shy of the goal line. Elkert says he was in. And I guess the officials are going to agree after his second look. Let's take another look at that again if we could, Ken. We'll change that from one to touchdown, so it's going to be the Wright State University Lake Campus touchdown for Zach Elkert as the extra point is on its way. It's up and good. Well, that was a... Late call by the officials, but it's not going to upset Liberty Benton at all. A good effort by Elker to find his way across, right? Now, again, number 76 right there. Schwarm gets a block right here, and then look at this block right there. Finishing inside nastiness by the guys up front for Liberty Benton. So 14 nothing, Liberty Benton will take a timeout here in WOSF. Well, 14-0 now, Liberty Benton with the lead over Ottawa Glandorf as Zach Elkert scores from three yards out. And again, our touchdowns tonight brought to you by Wright State University Lake Campus. Whether you're interested in an associate or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. Well, already in this football game, this feels like a Really important drive for Ottawa Glandorf. Got to get some points on the board here. 
as it looks as if they're going to really struggle to stop mm -hmm. Liberty Benton from scoring the football. By the way, that LB drive goes 12 plays, 83 yards, and takes nearly six minutes. A couple big conversions uh, thrown to number 18, Lemire, right, mm -hmm. on that drive. The Titans will start this one from their own 20. And first down run will get some positive yards. A much better job on first down that time with their pad level for Liberty Benton. Playing a little high earlier, but Austin Berger did a good job. Uh, I incorrectly gave all kinds of praise on the last touchdown. It was actually Will Granger that had that tremendous block. Oh, okay. Pancaked the guy into the end zone. So Will Granger, good job on that one. Scandal one's going to bring up second and nine. Saw some good things out of the Titan offense last time we saw them. It's quarterback keeper here on second down. It's trying to find a little bit of running room. Peyton Kuhlman, Kuhlman able to get to about the 25. That makes it third down and five. Play action pass maybe here. Had a little bit of success with that sprint out look off the fake. Got to get a first down here. Stay on the field if you're OG. Yeah, last thing you want to do is go three and out and put that uh, Liberty Benton offense right back under the field. Yeah, Liberty Benton's offense clicking on all the cylinders. Too high look. Cover two out of Liberty Benton. Kuhlman looked like he was going to run then. Pulls the trigger, and it's a big completion as he gets this one out to Dane Dooling, and Dooling will have a big least famous recipe chicken first down. Oh, I like the call by Brian Heaps right here. Looks like the quarterback run. They ran this earlier for a big play. Just a little seam route right up in between the two safeties. Tremendous throw by Pullman. First down for OG. At 31 yards on the completion as you take a look at the Finley truck and RV replay. That's a, actually a tough throw, but Peyton Kuhlman makes it look easy. Yeah, he did make that one look really easy. Now at the Liberty Benton side of the field to 44. Delayed on the handoff. Give again. This one's going to be intercepted. Held high above his head by Seth Elkert, and Elkert's going to be run out of bounds near midfield. Well, he went back to it. The seam route has been successful for them. Kuhlman just gets away from him right there. Just a little bit too high. Didn't get it where he wanted it. Trying to get it to Ethan Metzger. A little bit too high. And hey, what a surprise. Seth Elkert with a big play. Easy E gets it done defensively as well. So the Eagles will take over at their own. 45-7-11 left to go before halftime on our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living in your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Let's see if they dial up, going vertical. Love to do it off of turnovers. And there's gonna be the run here on a first down after the fake. Lieb's gonna keep this one himself and might have gotten a yard. And Griffin Beckett came free right there to defensive lineman. Still gotta get used to those small numbers on a defensive lineman, number nine, right? Griffin Beckett. 6'1", 210 senior, makes a big play on first down. It's going to bring up second and nine. Now we'll see how Ottawa Glandorf will respond after the sudden possession change. Lieb has all sorts of action. It's going to be the old end around. Trying to cut up field. That one's going to be defended pretty well. And Otto Glandorf, Seth Elker just had nowhere to go. Well, it's a big ask. You're asking your receivers to hold that block forever against a cover two. You see Lemire outside. He gets the block originally, but there's no uh, fool in the corner on that outside. I'm trying to get the number. that, that yeah, That's Gage Bellman, who does a good job of fighting through it and makes the tackle right there. Pickup of four does bring up a third and five with the ball nestled right inside the midfield stripe. If you're Liberty Benton, though, third and five, I mean, that's no big that's, deal tonight, right? That, 
Well, we just pick it up, Coach. That's what we do. And Liberty Benton quickly gets to the line, but it looks like they might have been having some. Did they have issues? Ottawa Glandorf not like what they saw. Either rate, we have ourselves a Dale's Concrete and decorative stamping timeout. See Dale's Concrete and decorative stamping in Lipsick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. So with the timeout on the field, we'll take a break here and come back on WOSN. Third down now coming up following the uh, timeout. Third and five right from midfield for Liberty Benton. Eagles trying to add on to a two touchdown lead. We are halfway through the second quarter. Here's the pass. A nice job of that slant. That's going to be hauled in. Is that Seth Elker gets that and gets the big. Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, really good ball placement that time by Trevin Lieb. You don't want to throw the slant too high. If it goes off the hands, it becomes an interception. He threw this right at the jawline and between the numbers, made it easy for his receiver, Seth Elker. First down at the Otto Glandorf side of the field, now at the 43. Lieb seems pretty comfortable taking over the reins at quarterback. And see some time last year setting up the screen and that one just dropped by Lemire. A very fortuitous for OG because Lemire is celebrating in the end zone had he catches. Watch all the white jerseys get out in front of him right there. He's going to get a great block by Will Granger on the outside, and he is going to be dancing in pay dirt. I forgot one thing, the football. Yeah, got, I understand that's kind of important, right? You need that with you. So that stops the clock, 5.09 left to play opening half on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Second and 10, what you believe would be four down territory. I think the entire field could be four down territory for Liberty Benton. Lee didn't like what he saw. This might have been a design the entire way. Yeah, I think it was an RPL action. Fake the inside, they're gonna run to slam. A little miscommunication on the outside. And it's been a pretty good night for Liberty Benton when that's their worst play of the night right there, right? Get back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, no gain on the play, so third and 10 from the OG 43 now. Seeing Liberty Benton be much more deliberate this time. Had both Lieb and at least one receiver, if not more, in the huddle to play call with them before being released onto the field. A trip to the far side, and we're going to get a timeout. Yeah, play clock was down inside of five. And what did we, what are we calling here? They pointed to the equipment of Seth Elker. He's going to come off the field, and they're going to put Barbera in for him. I'm wondering if he got caught with his mouthpiece not in, and they will send you off the field. Got to have the equipment that works, say the officials. So Liberty Benton was ready to re-huddle, and now it looks like they're just... They're going to decide to change the play. Well, I, I see what it is now. He had a little bit of blood on the arm. Oh, okay. Schreiner is going to cover up the officials and got him off the field. So Liberty Benton was confused whether or not they were going to run a new play or if they were going to stick to the one they had. They broke a huddle with five on the play clock, then realized they are going to run out of time. So they've taken their second Dale's Concrete timeout. Again, our game tonight. Brought to you in part by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick. See them for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. So at the timeout, you're allowed to get Elkert back on the field. Yes. H had the blood you know, subsided and it's covered up. Look, I'll trade that any day of the week, right? A timeout for Elkert being on the field? Absolutely. Gives them, for what it's worth, one left in the half. OG will have two. Let's see, 438 left to play before halftime. We've said this multiple times, what feels like an important drive, but this one really feels like an important drive, especially if you're Ottawa Glandor. Yeah, tough ask if it's a three-score game for OG. So see what the Eagles decide to do here, third and 10. Well, Elker stays out of the game. Empty backfield. Lieb looks. 
kind of looked off. That one's going to be broken up in the last minute. Nice job reading that one by the freshman, Jordan Shoemaker. Yeah, how about Shoemaker, the freshman, playing the, the deep half of the field in that cover two look. Liberty Benton tried the old uh, screen and go, tried to hit Lemire up the seam, but the freshman up to the task. And how about this, Randy? A punt out of Liberty Benton. He'll send the punt unit on. Thought maybe since they were on the Titan side of the field, they would go for it. And that might be what Ottawa Glendorf is thinking is they will take a Dale's Concrete Decker stamping timeout. Yeah, they called timeout because uh, the miscommunication, only eight guys uh, to defend that punt. But do you send your, if you're Ottawa Glendorf, do you do you send a punt return team or do you just maybe stick in your, your defense out there? Really good, really good point by you. I, I would stay with my defense, right? It's, uh, usually if it is on your side of the football, you play a punt safe and keep your defense out there. They tried to get a punt return grouping out there, didn't work, and it's going to cost them a timeout. Both teams sitting now with one timeout, I believe. That's what the scoreboard tells us. One Pac-Man power pellet left right there, underneath the L and underneath the O. I thought that was like in when you, you knew which letter to, they used to have the, the lines <laughs> yeah, underneath it. That, that squiggly you, thing? Yeah. Eagles do send this one away. High spiral punt, fair catch, called for and is made at about the six yard line. Interesting on the fair catch inside the six. You know, let that go over your head. More times than not, rolls into the end zone. You get yourself out to the 20. Sometimes that hidden yardage, a big difference on drives. Especially on turf, ball seems to bounce and scoot a little bit more than it does on the natural playing surface. I heard uh, Bill Belichick talk about it. He said if the ball is going end over end, it's going to hit and roll negatively towards you. So if it's going end over end, chances are that was going to go in the end zone. Let's call this the seven. That's where the Titans start here. Just under four and a half to go before halftime. Trying to get a positive run on first down. Nice job sneaking out of one would-be tackler. So I believe that is Grant Evers in the bottom of that pile. There he is, number 18 pops up in that neon green mouthpiece. 273 yards last year for OG. Now, Randy, not every single drive needs to end in points to be successful. I think if you're OG, a great drive right here would be getting out of the half so you can go in at halftime down only 14 nothing. A second and eight from just inside the 10 yard line. Corner fire. Coleman in the shotgun with that fake. They try to run. He's trying to spin out of tackle as Evers. Evers will get out to about the 10, so we'll give him about a yard. Yeah, watch right here. This is the corner, started outside, worked his way down, and when he blitzes, it's going to allow this guy right here to be free and make the tackle. Nice design by Scott Arnold, defensive coordinator. It's third down play coming up here as we take a look at that Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. Yeah, Reed, the Reed, replay, I should say. Reed Irwin, the corner on that side, coming and taking on the, the, the blocks, allowing Braden Bell to make the tackle. Coleman, third down, rolling out. Fires to the sideline, and that one is going to be fought for and intercepted as Connor Barbara is going to come up with that one. Yeah, watch Connor Barbara go up, go two hands on it. High points to the football. Remember, he's a receiver on the offensive end. Nice. Great job of keeping leverage. Squeeze that receiver to the sideline, keeping his cover two principles in his hip pocket. Huge turnover for Liberty Benton. They could put this thing away right here, yeah. Randy. Back-to-back -back drives that end in interceptions. That one, by the way, waited for a minute. That one nearly taken away again by the OG receiver. But Liberty Benton will get this one here. Just under three minutes to go before halftime as they will start on the OG side of the field. First down throw. That one nearly picked off. As uh, Braden Bell, number 14 for OG, was turned all the way around. Did not realize that was going to be hauled in. Uh, might be the throw of the day for Trevin Lieb. Look at him just fall right in between that small window. The he safety and linebacker led his receiver for the great catch. Boy, that's some big-time touch by Lieb. 
Lemire able to come up with that one as uh, Liberty Benton now getting dangerously close. Now they are inside the red zone. It's the Thermal Guard window and door red zone. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com. Call 419-229-4273 for your free estimate. A Jordan Shoemaker, since he's been inserted into the game for Ottawa Glandorf, watch him right here. Number three is going to show up late. One-on-one -on -one makes the tackle against Elkert, or else it would have been a touchdown. Remember, he saved the touchdown on a breakup, and that time makes a tackle-saving touchdown. Gain a nine on the run, brings up second and one. Back to Elkert, they go. He'll jump over the pile, takes the contact, and he's in for the Wright State University late campus touchdown. The well, run game that had been stymied early by OG showing up late here in the first half for Liberty Benton. Gonna run the pistol formation, nice little cut back. Good vision, stretching the defense out and then making a quick cut back. Elkert gets the touchdown for Liberty Benton. So the Eagles make the Titans pay following the interception as the extra point is good. It's another Wright State University Lake Campus touchdown. Whether you're interested in an associate or bachelor's degree, Wright State University at Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. Now 21-0 Liberty Benton on the Alderman Outdoor scoreboard. We'll take a break here in WOSN. 21-0 well, here, Liberty Benton with a lead over Ottawa Glandorf on our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Alderman Outdoor. The bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. One player we have not talked a lot about, that is Garrett Nealis, the kicker for Liberty Benton. Perfect on extra points and for the third time this evening is deposited to kickoff into the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, what a great year he had a year ago, Randy. 49 of 54 and extra points, four of six field goals. But the most important thing is the field position, right? Just kick it in the end zone every single time. Your opponent starts it, has to go 80 yards every time. What a yep. huge advantage that is. See what the Titans do here, down to 146 to go before we get to halftime. Kind of mirrors what you said, the previous drive, Miles. You just kind of, now you just want to limp into halftime. You're already down three scores. Trying to find something on first down, giving the handoff there to Grant Evers. Well, if they're able to get up and reach the inside linebacker, Zach Elkert, it'll be the first time that they've been able to get it done all night. So Elkert shows up again with another tackle. He's had himself one heck of a night for Liberty Benton. Loss of one on the play is going to bring up second and 11. As Liberty Benton has just the one timeout remaining. I think with uh, just over a minute to go, do they try to stop the clock? Or do you let Liberty or Ottawa Glandorf just run the timeout? It's Pullman nowhere to go that time, and now we have the decision made there as. The Eagles do take their final Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping timeout. I'm trying to play the math in my head with 55 seconds left. Yeah, OG runs the football here on third down to keep that clock running. And we're going to be real tight, and if they have to be forced to uh, pump the football, depends on how quickly the officials spot it. You know, two timeouts would be great. Liberty Benton then could assure the, fa the fact that they would get the football one more time. But, you know, at worst, you set up your pump block unit, send them in, go try and get a, a pump block. Yeah, you're looking at what will be third and about 12, and you, we are assuming OG isn't throwing in this situation. Oh, no. I, I, if I'm Ken Schreiner, I'm saying we'll run the football here, let that clock roll. Right. Hey, yeah, if you if you, you happen to, it's incomplete. You happen to drop the football while handing it to the official, you know, sometimes that happens. Well, I it keep in mind too. Takes an extra second to they've thrown and had two interceptions already in this half, so let's run the football, keep that clock going. As uh Hank Stram used to say, matriculate that clock, matriculate the ball down the field. Matriculate down the field. 
third down coming up here for uh, the Titans. Cover two look out of Liberty Benton. One of the officials standing up over the foot. Oh, so having a, they're putting, are they gonna put more time on the clock? Having a conversation with the uh, OG coaches. So a unique situation here for us at Ottawa Glendale. We're in the, the press box located on the visitor's side of the field. Well, bad news for OG, it is now 59 seconds on the clock. So that changes your math a little bit. And now drop into a cover four for Liberty Benton. He saw the roll out and he thought maybe they were gonna throw the ball, but it will be a run. And it's going to be a successful one as well as Peyton Coleman will take everything out of it as he's going to pick up the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down with his legs. Yeah, a really smart decision by Coleman. Tries to go to his left and bounces back. Nobody keeps contain for Liberty Benton. Gets the first down, allows his clock to pick back up. He'll pick up about 18. Now they will go to throw here, looking for something to the sideline. That's going to be incomplete. Stops the clock now with 38 seconds to go. A cover four look by Liberty Benton. All it means is they're going to keep everything in front. Two corners, two safeties. They're going to play the quarter of the field. Just keep on dropping. So you're running verticals. All you're going to do is run into guys waiting for you. Second and a 10. Surprised that they threw the football there? A little bit. They got, you know, they, I think their thought is 38 seconds. It, what was then four chances? You had three more to throw it downfield. Coleman's gonna roll, he's gonna do the same thing under some pressure. This one is gonna be deflected and it's gonna end up out of bounds. Being chased from behind by number 14, Braden Bell. Oh boy, this is kind of dangerous. Watch Bell, he's gonna get involved right as Kuhlman is throwing it. If that ball goes high and the defender gets underneath it, you're having your Jack Squirek against the Redskins Super Bowl moment. He's dancing in the end zone. Another look there, the uh, Finley truck and RV replay. So now third and 10. How do you like that old Oakland Raiders reference That's right there? That's a good there? one. Yeah. Now, if you're Ottawa Glandorf, do you run the football here and just call it a half? Uh, look, I'm surprised that they haven't run the football on first and second down. Yeah, run the football here and get that clock rolling. That's exactly what the call's gonna be. The inside give gets out across the 40 as they go to Vinnie Brinkman. <laughs> Brinkman will pick up some positive yardage in what very well could have been the final play before halftime. Yeah, I should do it. OG uh, looking at the official in the white hat saying, let's just get this thing to meander out of here, get to halftime. Out of Glendorf, offense isn't in a big hurry to do anything else. They're going to let that clock get to zero. We have reached halftime of our season opener. The Eagles have dominated so far 21-0 at the half. We'll come back with the second half for you here on WOSN. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday, back with you here from Titan Stadium where the visiting Liberty Benton Eagles lead this one at the break 21 to nothing over said Titans of Ottawa Glandorf's first ever meeting between these two hyphenated schools now halfway through. Some early thoughts here in this opener, partner. Well, it started out promising for Ottawa Glandorf for their first drive uh, running the football, but things petered out after there have to figure out a way to somehow slow down this Liberty Benton offense. And then, no way doubt about it, Randy, Ottawa Glendorf has to score the first touchdown of the second half if they're gonna make it a game here in the second half. It gets to 28 mm nothing. -hmm. this one's gonna be over. It should be tight and ball first to begin the uh, second half as OG did win the opening toss and deferred their choice to the second half. And I don't understand why they would say, yeah, you know what, we're trailing, let's go ahead and kick it away. Yeah, what a nice uh, program at Liberty Benton where you graduate Mason Maud, the BBC Player of the Year offensively, and then, ah, uh, no big deal, because we got Trevin Lieb who stepped in and performed absolutely incredible in his first half as a starter, and it makes life easy for him when you have targets like Lemire, Elkert, Irwin, and of course, a tremendous first half by Connor Barbara. 
Yeah, we found out Barbara, not Barbara. Barbara. Uh, not Barbara. I love Barbara, though, don't you? Uh, only when he was with Hannah. Some tremendous Saturday mornings. <laughs> now, that one reaches all, all generations, right? Because we have people a little bit older than us that, that know that, and there's people younger than us that... Yeah, you might know a little bit about. I'm, I'm getting to that age where there's not going to be many people older than me soon. <laughs> a great shot right there by our camera guys, uh, capturing how beautiful it is here tonight. By the way, we should welcome speaking camera guys. We have a new member of our crew with us. We do this year. And Curtis Aldrich and Peyton. Yeah, Peyton. Peyton Gillen, right? Is that how you say it, Ken? Yeah, there's Peyton right there. Gilland, right, so. Peyton. Welcome aboard, Peyton. Now, the most important question is, so we talked to... There he is, right. There's Peyton. And with that confused look. Right. There, there you go, Peyton. There, there he go. is. Yeah. Now he's figured it out. So, with us here. So, we, we put him next to the best nine-fingered cameraman in the business. Mm -hmm. Now, does Curtis take one of Peyton's fingers? If he's going to teach him the, how he does things, well, we, we have to talk. To, he only does things with nine fingers. We have to talk to Ken because this is a bad move, putting him right next to Curtis and expecting him to be back next week. That poor young man, he's going to hear <laughs> things that he shouldn't. That's why he had the look on his face that we. Uh, ah, we love you, Curtis. Curtis is a, a man that loves to say a lot. But unlike me, did get a haircut before the opening game of the season. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go on a, a uh, prediction here. I'm going to say this one's going to go into the end zone. <laughs> Garrett Nealis send this one into the sky. And how about that? Miles is correct. It is a touchback. That's my first predict prediction correct this year. Miles Damas nails that one. Well, let's we'll see what this OG offense can get going, Randy. They had some success early in that first half running off tackle. Remember, they were winning first down early in this game, getting five, four yards, staying on schedule, moving the football a little bit. But a yeah, much better job by Liberty Benton defensively. Scott Arnold did a good job of mixing in some blitzes, the defensive coordinator for Liberty Benton. Yeah, OG's opening drive. They picked up a couple of first downs, moving to the Liberty Benton side of the field. And even and throwing an interception, it came after gaining a first down. So they have been able to move the football. Pop pass there. A quick pitch on first down. Ethan Metzger trying to find a little bit of running room. And he's going to open the second half by picking up a Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, nice little wrinkle. Metzger's going to get it. It's a really good block on the perimeter outside and gets the first down, holds on to the football. And you know who really loves that play? That's Peyton Kuhlman because he gets uh, credit for a completed pass there. The 14 yards for the first Lee's Famous oh, Recipe Chicken first down of the second oh, half. Visit Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Devils, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Oh, 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 oh. And I think the Liberty Benton defense might have been a little bit mad about that because they are going to push Evers backward. Well, Will Granger has won every skirmish that he's had in front of him here tonight. Number 78 for Liberty Benton. Not sure what his bench press is, but I know it's at least 240 pounds because he just threw the guy off of him, said, I'm going to bench press you, then tackle that running back. Officials stated that Evers had moved the pile forward to the 35 before the big push backward. So give him a net of a yard, second and nine. Coming up here for the Titans. Just underway the second half of football. Coleman looking to throw, sets up a middle screen. This one is going to be complete, but Vinny Brinkman will take a big hit as he goes down right at about the line of scrimmage. Uh, Seth, El Seth Elkert, the number inside linebacker number 20. He's going to stay home. Look at all the linemen leaking out in front, but he's just going to knife right through them all and make that tackle. Having himself a heck of a night for Liberty Benton defensively. Now, Will Granger realized it too after he took about one more step than he wanted to, and he saw him kind of flail at the football with one giant paw. Third nine after the uh, no gain there coming up. You saw the Finley truck and RV replay. Here comes some outside blitz. Coleman steps up, tries to take off, but he's going to run right into the arms. Balls out. Granger's going to bring him down. That ball pops loose. 
near that far sideline. I think they're going to say he was down. The blitz is going to be picked up pretty well by OG. Coleman has the pocket, but leaves it early, and that's not a good idea running into Will Granger to leave the pocket. Will Granger, a great defensive series for Liberty Benton. Loss of two on the plays. You see, yeah, the ball did come loose. It was right near the sideline. It might have been out of bounds. And again, a replace tonight brought to you by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. And a punt safe out of Liberty Benton. Punt there when Will had out of bounds, right at about the 35 yard line. I'm not sure I, I've seen a football spin like that. It was like a giant cigar spinning through the air. Well, not the opening drive that Ottawa Glendorf was hoping to get coming out at halftime. Usually as an offensive staff, you get together and you talk at halftime about getting three or four plays together. Now, I did like the idea, Randy. They had some success with that middle screen in the first half, come back mm -hmm. to it. But it shows you how well schooled that Liberty Benton is, was ready for it the second time. So Eagles will start their first drive of the second half from their own 37. Lieb looking for it all in first down, deep downfield. This one is going to be caught. Zach Elkert with it. Looks like he's going to stay in bounds and get the big knees. Famous recipe chicken first down. Now this is supposed to be Seth Elkert, right? But no, Zach says, you know what? I'm not the, 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 there's more than one Elkert taking run a vertical right there. What a night for Zach Elkert here tonight. Gets that right foot inbound. The Elkert family, they can catch some verticals. 28 yards on the big completion. There's Liberty Benton already at the Ottawa Glandorf 35. Lieb looking for more. Sends this one underneath to the cutter. I believe that was Demetrius Chapman, number 28, hauls that one in. Well, how would you like to have a guy like Demetrius Chapman who looks very athletic and he just comes in and once in a while catches a pass, right? What a luxury. All the guys on this Liberty Benton roster that look like they can catch the football and do some damage with it. Chapman, by the way, just a 5'8", 125-pound freshman helping out. Oh, oh, correction, that, that was Seth Elkert. Seth, Seth, hey, Elkert, I was going to say, he looks pretty good. So, did see the blood on the jersey, so. Oh, okay, so we're being told that his jersey apparently was ripped in the first half. Well, too bad for Demetrius Chapman. He's having himself so, a heck of a yeah, second right. half. He's gonna have a pretty big second half. All right, so Seth is number 28 now. Gonna need like a baseball scorebook to cover all the changes. So we got a, a fresh set of downs coming up here. It's first and 10 from the 20. Uh, there's not gonna be a double switch, I, I guarantee you that. <laughs> Does the DH stay in the order? It's Lieb looking to throw, fires this one. That's gonna go through the hands of Elkert. I'm not sure if it's the number for a lead, but um, it kind of reminds me of Nick Foles, the way he throws the football. Same kind of mannerism, same way he kind of throws the football. You know, the guy that beat uh, the Patriots in the Super Bowl for the Eagles. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. That's pretty good praise. Yeah. NFL quarterback. The recently retired Nick, Nick Foles. Foles. Correct. Had himself a great NFL career. Anytime you win a Super Bowl, you had a great career, right? Does that mean Trent Dilfer had a great career? He had a great defense that helped him win that Super Bowl. And how about great defense right there by Ottawa Glandorf rising up, stopping that inside run. Your defensive coordinator, and you, you see five or six blue helmets making the tackle. That, that makes you feel good that guys are running to the football team. Yeah, loss of one on the run there by Zach Elkert. So third and 11 from the 21. Clock's been uh, fast moving here so far in this third quarter. You see already down to 740 and counting on our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Alderman Outdoor. Oh, 
Lieb works in a shotgun. Looking middle of the field, headed for the end zone. That one held up long enough. Where I believe that Seth Eckert is going to come down with the Wright State University Lake Campus touchdown. Now take a look at this right here. He's going to be outside, and he's just going to run a seven route towards the corner. But he does a really good job of giving a little post inside look and then coming back out and out jumping absolutely everybody. This is a big time effort out of Elkert. Easy E, watch it right there. Just jump over everybody. That's athleticism at its finest. So Seth and Zach each with a couple of touchdowns. As the extra point is up and good. And again, our touchdowns tonight brought to you by Wright State University Lake Campus. Whether you're interested in associate or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. 28 0 now, Liberty Benton leads Ottawa Glendorf, and we'll take a timeout here on WOSF. Liberty Benton ready for the kick coming here. Nealus do something different, he's to send this one. This one may be. be slightly returnable right from the goal line. <laughs> Roughly about the same uh, response. Asher Norman, uh, number 16, the sophomore. You want to get noticed uh, by your head coach, run down, get involved on special teams. Heck of a job being a first guy down there with a white jersey, blew up that Ottawa Glendorf return. Titans will still start at the 20 now, down 28 nothing. 7.17 left to go. Third quarter on our Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Titans still trying to make something happen there. Good run on first down. Going back to Evers. Evers will pick up about five. You have to get uh, Tinkers, Evers, and Chance going, get this offense moving a little bit. Well, we always say, Randy, that they're kind of snacking on danger, but this is a, a big-time dining experience right now for Ottawa Glendorf on danger. Got to come up with some points on this drive. Second down, look, trying to stretch this play out. There's nowhere to go there. Kuhlman has had some success running the football, but easily snuffed out that time by Liberty Benton. Had some success early in the second half running that jet sweep to Metzger. Maybe break that out here on third down. The loss of a couple in the play there, third and seven. Titans being a little bit more deliberate. To make sure they get the play call right. See the uh, play clock on our Ultimate Outdoors scoreboard now down inside five. Third down give, they go back to Evers. Needed the 30 yard line. Looks like he's gonna be a little short. A really good job, Austin Berger and of course Will Granger again. Uh, two guys inside for Liberty Benton, Randy, that is a lot of size inside. 6'2 and 6'3, both at 265. The great thing about them for Liberty Benton, both juniors. They'll be anchoring down that defense for this year and next year. With it, uh, fourth and four coming up. The Titans will elect to punt. Nice punt, spiral kick. Takes a bounce towards the sideline. Looks like it'll head out of bounds. All right, it's time for the 50-50. Down about five minutes left in our third quarter here, and what's going to look like a uh, Liberty Benton opening at night win. 
What a night for Liberty Benton if you're a play caller. Uh, just anything that you have on your sheet, you feel comfortable <laughs> calling. And why? Because the guys up front have done a great job. Struggled to run the football early, but stuck with it. Much better job in that second quarter running the football. And we were going to have, I think, an illegal participation penalty. Too many guys on the field. Yep, there it is. Liberty Benton yeah, trying to get the right grouping in. They're going to be penalized. Well, one of the rare mistakes tonight for Liberty Benton. Got to like the fact that you have 12 guys that want to play. Like I, <laughs> I coached some teams where it was tough to find 11 guys to get out there. <laughs> It's one of those things, get, Coach, you said I was going to play sometime tonight. <laughs> Didn't mean right this minute, son. Once they're up big, you'll get in. So first and 15. Swing out here to Elkert. Almost looked like a little CFL player receiver never stops. Yeah, that forward motion that they like at north of the border. Boy, this is a really tough play for an inside backer. You have to honor that inside fake, and the next thing you know, you're throwing it outside on that bubble. A little speed sweep. Uh, really, Randy, do you remember the old student body right and left where mm -hmm. it's a toss sweep to O.J. Simpson and those guys outside? That's what it is. It's just a different way of doing it. Yep. Game went to 4-7 there on first down, so it's going to bring him second and eight. A couple of backs in the backfield with Lieb in a shotgun. Now he'll send one of them in motion. Hand off, they'll go straight ahead as we're going to see some new bodies in there. It looks like Austin Collard Jr. will get the call. Collard will get uh, just across midfield, and it looks like he will be just shy of Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Good job up front by Homan, Vermillion, Granger, Wright, and Schwarm. Remember, Schwarm playing center this year in place of uh, Connor Arnold. One of the better offensive linemen in the BBC a year ago. So if he can do the job, man, this is going to be a really solid inside five for Liberty Benton. Third and one coming up here for the Eagles. Lee will fake it and he's going to keep it himself. Only needed a yard. And don't know if he got much more than that as the official's coming in. And the official to our side. Giving the fourth down signals, we take a look at the Finley truck and RV replay. Yeah, there's some beanbags were thrown that tells me that there was the ball loose, and you it see it out right there. A minute. And it looks like Lee was able to come up with it again. Not sure how Dean Dueling didn't come over. It hit him right in the leg. Just kind of one of those nights for OG. With no gain on the play, so fourth and one. Fourth down. And if you're the defensive line coach for OG, you're yelling, watch the football. Don't fall for a cadence. Lieb in a shotgun, they're trying. And it looks like Liberty Benton is gonna choose to take a Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping timeout. All right, now, look, I understand that offenses get all the advantage, right? You should not be allowed, you haven't clapped all game long, right? And then all of a sudden, Lieb gets up there and he's gonna clap on his cadence. Why is he clapping? He's trying to draw the defense off, right? Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to do anything that is out of ordinary to entice the defense to jump, but that's kind of what happens when the offense gets all the rules, right? You sound like a bitter defensive lineman. <laughs> hey, hats off to OG. Did a good job of watching the football, not jumping offside. The timeout brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping. Visit them in Lipsig for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. So fourth down, Liberty Benton's gonna change their mind. They're gonna send their punt unit out onto the field here. 2.43 to go in the third. They're going. Well, they motion out of it and they're gonna pick up the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Uh, got a guy down for OG. Look, when you got guys like Granger up front, go ahead and run to that side, pick up that first down. 
A little unique that your tailback is 10 yards deep on that pistol look, and you're, you're running for one yard. Uh, this looks like the old first week cramp, doesn't it? Yeah, we've seen that before. So while they take a look at the injured player, we'll step aside here in WOSN. It looks like able to continue on now as uh, Liberty Benton picks up the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. They've got it first and 10. The OG 44 as we play here late in this third quarter. Lee gets the quick pitch. He'll get this out to Seth Elkert. Trying to get to that far sideline where he gets out of bounds. Yeah, Elkert never went down. Well, how about the work, though? Getting out in front of it. Zach Elkert, 10 yards deep as the tailback, still gets out to lead it. Picks up three on the run. It's going to bring up second and seven. Whistles. This is a tough formation defensively because you got a receiver here and a receiver out there. And then one, two, three backs. So now, do you, who do you honor? Do you honor as a spread formation with two deep safeties, or do you, you load the box because there's three running backs? Really nice design by Liberty Benton. And I was going to go to Elkert again, trying to get to that far sideline. He'll pick up couple of yards. Elkert. Elkert. Shoemaker again arrives from that secondary for OG. Not a happy night for the faithful of OG, but boy, they show up, don't they? Yeah, they seem to have a little bit more enthusiasm when we're here for basketball. And Colin White, right, he helped with that. What a run that they had the last four years. Erford also fantastic player for them. It's third and five, Lieb's gonna roll out to the near side looking to throw, fires. This one's gonna be incomplete, but we are gonna have a penalty flag. Well, they're gonna say that Ottawa Glandorf got there a little bit early. Well, Lieb gets to the perimeter, watch him get his shoulder in the right spot, delivers a football. And if they're going to call interference on that one, Randy, that is a tough, tough call against OG. Grant Evers, they're going to say, got there early. Did we get an actual call? We're going to get. Oh, all right. Oh, we're going to have ourselves offsetting penalties. So they did call pass interference, but they also had to hold the other side. So we'll uh, do this again. Pass interference is a tough call in my estimation. I thought Evers played that really well. Well, third down in about five or six it has been a money down for Liberty Benton. They've done a great job with it all game long. Trips to the field, single receiver to the far side. The lead keeps Elkert in the backfield. This time to block, fires this one downfield. That's going to be incomplete. But some contact coming in after the play is going to send multiple flags to the field. Now yeah, they're going to get Logan Moss trying to run that arrow route between the two high safety right there. Moss is going to hit him. So this is going to be a problem for fans this year in high school football. The defenseless receiver, if you're throwing a shoulder into him, it's going to get called. If you grab him or just blanket him to the ground, that's going to be different. But if you run through him with your shoulder pad, it's going to be a def defenseless receiver and it's going to be a penalty. So officials getting together here. Still hasn't been an official call yet. And that might be what the conversation that they are having. This is a good move by veteran White Hat. No, realizes he has some younger guys with him. I want to make sure they saw what they saw. Yeah, it's a little bit of a tough call. Uh, we've grown up watching football where you say that's a, a nice hit. 
Yeah, but uh, something that they're going to try and take out of the game. It's going to be tough for high school athletes to adjust to this. Now we're going to take a look at this Finley truck and RV replay one more time. An incomplete pass. And you see him coming in. It's one thing, yeah, if you just kind of grab him, you just kind of wrap him up, don't really hit him, it's one thing. But I don't want to say blindside him, but coming from the side. And it's filtered down from the NFL. Zero. Don't like it, but it is a rule now. 15-yard penalty moves the ball down to the 24-yard line. Lieb looking for it all once again. This one's going to be incomplete as he looks to that far side. Amir tries to go up and make that catch. Has had himself a really efficient night. Throwing it just a little bit behind him where he's the only guy that can make the opportunity to catch it. Goes off his hands out of bounds. It's going to bring up second and 10 here. The uh, lead here, Liberty Benton being a a little more deliberate with their time. We will keep, nope, oh, that is not Lee. We got a new quarterback in. Connor Barbara comes in. And Barbara comes in, gonna run the fake inside, is gonna get a nice kick out block. Down on the front side, kick out. Katie Far to door, big time yardage. It'll be a first and goal. The run also gets Liberty Benton inside the Thermal Guard window and door red zone. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419-229-4273 for your free estimate. Back to Lieb. Lieb with the give. Looking to that far side. Finding his way is, I believe, Zach Elkert trying to get to that end zone. Now he might have pulled up a cramp here. See him grabbing the back of his leg. Now how about that? You got a teammate that stretches the toe for you while you're cramping. So here's the thing, right? Anytime you see this, where his foot is, yeah, see how the official is pointing his toe back towards him? That's telling you that is a calf cramp, and if you've never had a calf cramp, that really hurts. It's dynamite analysis. It does, man. You gotta talk yourself through it. Like, it's just a calf cramp, my leg is not exploding. <laughs> so while they take a look at the uh, injured player down, we'll take a break here in WOSN. Well, it looks like Zach Elkert able to get up, and uh, as Miles explained, once he's able to be convinced that his leg is not getting sawed off. Oh, it does, man. You, you just, you're convinced that something is bad going to happen. Kind of like you ever have the wind knocked out of you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to talk yourself through that one too, right? You can't eat enough bananas. You can't drink enough water before that first game. There's nothing like the game tempo for your body. No matter how many times you scrimmage, it's not the same. Second and goal from the floor also what hasn't helped is we had a cool week all week and then the temperatures have warmed up as the week's gone on. And from what I understand, next Friday it's supposed to be really warm. Yeah. Second and goal here. Leave the give to Austin Kohler. And it looks like Kohler is gonna be in with for the right State University Lake Campus touchdown. They're just going to be an inside run. Well, look at Granger, 60, 78, just blowing it open along with Parker Wright. Uh, those two fellas open up the door, and Kohler just walks right through. Liberty Benton doing whatever they want here tonight. Whether you're interested in an associate or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.right.edu to apply today. And now it looks like they're going to have to tend to another cramping. Yeah, I was going to say, did somebody say cramp? 
Another one, third one now in this game for Liberty Benton. Eagles just trying to do everything they can to get to the quarter break. And speaking of breaks, we're going to take one as well. 34-0 here late in our third quarter. We'll step aside in WOSF. It's 34-0, which, Miles, we get an appearance of your favorite character of all of our broadcasts. Yeah, the running man uh, diagram, the guy with the giant clock head. He'll be uh, coming on your screen soon. There he is right there. So we will play the rest of this under the OHSAA running clock rules. Now a, a greater than 30 point differential, which is what we have. We will only see stoppages for timeouts. End of quarter, which the end of the quarter will also signify the end of the game. If there are any scores or what they now call any unusual delay. Which we've asked for years exactly what is that and we have not ever received a definition. One of the weird things about this though, Randy, you don't see this a lot. Touchdown at one end, and then you're gonna kick the extra point at the other end. So the running clock did trigger the quarter break. So we are going to, I guess, officially call the extra point the first play of the fourth quarter. Yep, the clock is now running. So Neil is on, a high snap, they're able to get it down, and the kick is gonna be good. So Neil is a perfect. Five for five today. Makes this 35 to nothing. Does stop the clock momentarily as we move to our fourth quarter. Oh, you wonder if Liberty Benton will start to get to some of the younger guys in this football game on the defensive end. Now, you talk to any defensive coordinator, Randy, and they're going to say, Oh, we have a shutout, coach. We have a shutout, coach. All defense coordinators want that shutout. But sometimes you have to do what's best for your program, get young guys in that football game. Not the night that Ottawa Glendorf wanted here tonight. You know, very eager to get back on the football field after a rough one and nine year. Remember, they, they want to get two wins uh, for Coach Schreiner. He needs two to get 200 wins. This is an Ottawa Glandor football program that for years kind of punched above their weight and always felt like kind of the, the, the smallest school in a big division. A lot of times playing uh, Division Four football. We will be back here next week. Kenton will be coming to town. We'll yeah. have that game. The uh, 10 team league in the WBL, you get uh, essentially one warm up against an, a non league opponent as Nealis' kick is sent into the end zone once again. No, you and I were not supposed to root for teams on this broadcast, but I am rooting for Ottawa Glendorf to get something positive here, get a score, right? You want them to have something positive to uh, move into week number two. Put together a nice drive right here. Feel good about themselves. Let's see if they take the wraps off some of the younger guys. Looks like we do see Peyton Kuhlman. A lot of the starters still out there. Of course, this is the opening week, so you want to give them some more reps. Kuhlman gets the run here on first down, trying to get to the outside. He's able to turn up field, he'll get a big run and pick up the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Right, Coleman has shown that he's got some live legs. He picks up a first down right there. Really the best run of the night for Ottawa Glandorf. Gonna make a guy miss right there. Get vertical, get the first down. A really good work by Asher Norman right here, number 16 for Liberty Benton. It gets him out of bounds, but doesn't follow through, Randy, because that would have been a personal foul. Picks up 19 on the run there. Coolman this time with a handoff, gives to Evers. Evers trying to stretch this out. Just nowhere to go against that front Evers group of Liberty Benton. Right the kind of the theme of the night for Otto Glendorf, something positive. And it's followed up by not a, a big gain again. Just been to be able to put two, three consecutive plays together. Just one of those nights. And no gain on that run. Second and 10 
from the 39. It's Coleman in the shotgun. Gives once again to Evers. Evers able to get in that second level. Across the 45 to about the 46. I like Evers' ability to put that foot in the ground. Get his shoulder pads going north and south. Got that just a little bit of burst. Some positive yardage that time by Evers. I think with Kuhlman and Evers, they really have something that they can build their offense around in the running game. Picks up about seven there. So third and three. Pullman in the shotgun, high snap. Good decision, pulls that one back. He's gonna weave his way into Liberty Benton territory. So he gets a big run and gets the least famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, really good read by Pullman. Pullman's gonna pull it out of the belly of the back right there. Next thing you know, he is getting vertical against this Liberty Benton defense. Back to back, good runs last time, a couple times Pullman has had it. Yeah, picks up 23 there, so he's got runs of 19 and 23 on this drive alone. As uh, looks like we're going to tend to uh, one more cramping situation here with 8:15 left to go in this one. Yeah, watch Coolman right here. He is going to get the fake inside. Collision by Liberty Benton, and he is going to keep it and then get vertical in a hurry for positive yards. Really nice play by Pullman. Great decision right there. <laughs> See, we change colors on you there, Randy? What, I'm, I'm staying with it. I know what's going on. A little blue on that one. Another cramp on the field for Liberty Benton. This is becoming an epidemic. Yeah, a little bit. Here. So 8.15 left to play. So while they take a look at the injured player, we'll take a break here at WOSF. It looks like everything is okay. Is uh, Maddox Vermillion the one that needs help? There's a little throw in the middle of the field, and that's going to lead to an OG touchdown as Dave Dooling able to get into the end zone. Uh, went back to the concept that they used in the first half for a big play. It just uh, uh, the seam between the two high safeties off the inside fake. Uh, Pullman, great fake inside right there, keeps his eyes up, pulls it, and finds his buddy for a touchdown. How about the catch by Dean Dueling and then running through a tackle attempt for a touchdown. OG on the board. That is a Wright State University Lake Campus touchdown. And the high arcing extra point comes up just short for Luke Meyer. But OG able to get on the board now 35 to six. And again, whether you're interested in associate's or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. Miles, you were hoping for one, and OG able to get on the board. Not rooting, I wasn't rooting, Randy. I was just, you know, nice to see them get on the board there feel good about themselves, give them something to feel good about going into week two. They're going to have to rebound in a hurry. That's going to be a Kenton team that's going to be a tough one to get ready for. I don't know if, you, if you're aware of this, but Kenton loves to throw the football. Now we'll see some of that next week as the WBL opens up play. WBL, kind of interesting. Is there a clear-cut favorite in the Western Buckeye this year? Uh, I think you got to look at Wapakoneta, a uh, very good team. St. Mary's is loaded. Uh, I think those got to be your top two, but don't don't sleep on Defiance. You know, Defiance is a really good ball club. For a Zippel, the quarterback, is back. Uh, Anthony Wilder, the guy with all the speed. In a dogfight with Napoleon, we understand tonight. Always their is, right? Rival. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Liberty Benton still kind of looking after they leave the BBC where they go? How do you think they would fit into WBO? It would be an option. Evers will do the kicking here, sends this one back to about the five yard line. Coming out in a good return, staying on his feet is Connor Barbara. 
But Connor took a little exception to the a little extra hit. Guys in the blue saying, hey, officials didn't blow the whistle. You're not down. We get to hit you a little bit. Eagles start this drive from their own 22. Trevin Leeds still in at quarterback for Liberty Benton. It looks like the whole starting offense is still on the field. Lieb with the give. Looked like he was going to be the lead blocker and then thought better of it. I'll just stand and be a bystander on this first down play. How about the effort by Ottawa Glandorf? Still hustling themselves to the football. Count all the blue jerseys, about eight blue jerseys showing up at the end of that play. No gain on the play is going to bring up second and 10 from the 22. Leave in the shotgun, has it back with him. Hand it off once again as we see more of Austin Kohler. Kohler, who had the touchdown earlier, tackled by Hayden Kaufman, the senior defensive lineman. Gets him to the ground. Give him about four on the run there. It's going to bring up third and six from the 26-yard line. Zach Elker checks back in, number 20. What a night he has had where he's been all over the football field. How many touchdowns for him? Two. Two touchdowns and, I don't know, about every other tackle for them defensively. Two for Zach, two for Seth. <laughs> that was a good thing. Someone made sure the Elkerts got on the bus today. Four touchdowns for the Elkert family. I think you make sure there's an assistant coach that makes, you know, he's got the role, the, 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 the bus role, making sure the attendance, his job is to make sure Elkert and Elkert are on the bus. Fourth and two following that run coming up here. You just, at that point, you put dad on the staff, right, just to make sure that. <laughs> dad, grandma, grandpa, everybody, whoever wants to be on it, keep those two out there. Punt team on. Ottawa Glander kind of caught in between. They're going to stay with their first team defense. Punt is going to be fair caught at the 35. Evers makes it. No, Ottawa Glandorf will get it back. Well, last time Otto Glandorf had it, a couple big plays, got themselves a touchdown. We'll see if they can build on that momentum. Keeping Pullman still in the game. And some younger guys are on the field for Liberty Benton. They began, I think, that last drive sprinkling in some uh, fresh bodies. First down pass comes out to the flat to the uh, far side where it is caught out there. Vinny Brinkman with it out across the 40. They still have Seth Elkert out on the field for Liberty Benton. And what to do a lot of times is you keep some really good secondary guys that can run and you know, lighten the box inside with some young guys so you got those guys back deep that can cover up for them. Five yards on the play there brings up second and five. Coleman in that shotgun. This time will hand off. And just nowhere to go as Liberty Benton raced right in on the stop there. That's Jonas Frederick, number 55, that was back there first. Boy, he almost got him with a, a clothesline, a lariat, a Russian sickle, whatever it was. But that was. 
heck of a move by him to get in the backfield. Yeah, loss of two on the run. Asher Norman, number 16, involved in there as well. It's third down coming up here. Kuhlman rolls out, looks to throw towards the sideline. Nice job staying in bounds as that is going to be caught. And that should be enough for another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. So they'll get 11 yards there to get to midfield. One more time, and we want to tell you that a first down tonight has been brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Visit them in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, or home style, happens here. Kuhlman from midfield looks to throw once again. He's got to get rid of this one as he was under pressure. And that's going to be incomplete. It was a nice grab in the sideline, just unfortunately out of play. And a replace tonight have been brought to you by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Second and a 10 coming up here for the Titans. See our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. 345 left to go in this one. Try the handoff, trying to find somewhere to go in the middle of the field. Titans will pick up a yard or two. They'll give Evers about a yard and a half. Call it about third and eight here. It's third and nine. Hey, Randy. Yeah. Yeah, I just ran into the Columbus Grove staff uh, down here on the sideline watching the game. That's going to be a heck of a battle. Liberty betting in Columbus Grove. Coleman's going to let one go. He tried to hook up with Dueling once again, but that's going to be incomplete, and it's going to bring up fourth down. Had that Columbus Grove team last night against Pandora Gilboa. That is a physical bunch. That'll be one five-star matchup. Yeah, and Columbus Grove uh, celebrating their 100th year of football as well. So uh, lots of big things in store for the Bulldogs. Miles and I will get to see them uh, at least a couple of times down the road this year. Looking forward to that. Fourth down, Titans trailing big and no other choice but to go for it. Nice job staying on his feet, trying to keep it alive was Coleman, but then on fourth down just gets rid of the football. It's going to be turnover on downs, and Liberty Benton will get it back. So the Eagles try to run this one out here you know, with that uh, OG score that did uh, turn the running clock off. if some uh, younger guys start to make their way out for uh, Liberty Benton into the old count in the huddle. As we see uh, Trevin Lieb still in at quarterback. They're trying to signal towards their uh, sideline that they might have been short a guy in the huddle. And it's going to force Liberty Benton to take a Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping timeout. So the timeout on the field, we will take a break as well. Late in this one, Liberty Benton leads big on WOSN. 2.45 left to play in this one on our Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Bring resort style living your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Liberty Benton will 
trying to run out this final two and a half minutes. Lee will take a loss there on the first down. Loss of about five on the play is going to bring up second and 15. That play clock run all the way down. For Lee will take another knee. Eagles trying to time this out where they can uh, run out the final play on fourth down here. So Liberty Benton's going to open with a win. They'll go to 1-0. Oh. Otto Glandorf fall to 0-1 oh as we kick off the high school football season. Eagles run one more. Lee will hold it for just a moment as the players, linemen, still putting a lot of contact into this one as they want to continue it out. Fourth down, Liberty Benton, the difference of about 30 seconds between the game clock and play clock. Looks like Miles said a couple of times through the night, we uh, will be right back here next week as the uh, Titans open up with uh, Kenton in the WBL. Let's we'll see what uh, Liberty Benton elects to do as they let the play clock run all the way down. They will take their final Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping timeout. There's 29 seconds left to go. This is one where they'll send the correct 11 that they want out for the punt unit. One of those series we talked about the first time that uh, Liberty Benton, Ottawa Glandorf have met on the uh, gridiron. These two know each other quite a bit when it comes to uh, basketball, especially girls' hoops. So this might be uh, one of those series you want to see continue on and down through the years. Liberty Mountain will send this punt away. Another fair catch will be made. It'll be made just shy of the 35 yard lines. Jordan Shoemaker will make the catch. So Ottawa Glandorf will send their offense back out onto the field here. 22 seconds to play. We have to see them run at least in one play. Titans elect to do with these 22 seconds that are left. They'll just take a knee as well, and that should be the final play of the games. The teams retreat to their sidelines. They'll begin the uh, final handshakes here. Is our final score on our 2024 season opener. We'll have the Eagles of Liberty Benton come to Ottawa and hand the Titans a 35-6 decision. We'll take a time out. When we come back, we'll head down to the field where Miles Holiday is going to check in with our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner when we return. Big season opening statement win for Liberty Benton as the Eagles have come to Ottawa, knocked off the Titans tonight. 35-6 to kick off the 2024 high school football season. A part of that 
is the big play out of Zach Elkert. He is our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. He's down on the field with our Miles Holiday. Zach, a resounding victory. How were you guys able to get this one, get this one done? I mean, last year we fell to the playoffs unexpectedly, so all summer we've been working our butts off, taking like nothing off, and putting 100% in all day. And we came in here wanting to run the ball early, and we started off a little slow, but then we got that established, and it could open up some pass plays deep. All right, now defensively, you guys played lights out. What was the game plan? That's a team that looks like they want to run the football early, but you guys were able to shut that down. How are you guys able to stop Ottawa Glendorf's run game? In practice, we just bring it every day on defense. We want to bring the physicality and stuff them right away to show them what we got. Uh, two touchdowns. Uh, this is a dynamic offense. How much fun is it? You guys got playmakers everywhere. It's really fun. I tell you, it's really fun. Really fun. All right, now, big one next week. Columbus Grove, everyone knows uh, two programs that are fantastic. What's it going to take to get a victory next week against Columbus Grove? We got to be focused, and we won this game, but that's in the past. We got to focus on next week and then just bring it. Well, you guys brought it tonight. Congratulations. Keep it rolling, man. Heck of a game. Randy, this guy was a dynamic dude. Yeah, he definitely was a big part of that to win. Again, a couple of touchdowns like Miles had mentioned. So 35-6, Liberty Benton's going to open the year with a win over Ottawa Glandorf. We want to thank everyone for making our 2024 high school football season opener a success. Starts with the uh, man sitting behind me, Ken Reeker, our director and producer, making sure everything uh, Runs okay. Can't uh, thank uh, Curtis and Peyton enough for the work they've done with uh, the cameras. As, uh, Curtis has brought Peyton along pretty quick, and uh, we're thankful Peyton decided to join us for our football season. So hopefully he had uh, a nice way to uh, start the year. So 35-6, again, that final. Liberty Benton gets the win over Ottawa Glandorf. So for my partner, Miles Holiday, and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.